Hey everyone, I am your astrologer Wonder Girl taking you to new heights. This is your astrology horoscope for the new moon in Virgo, which happens on Thursday, September 17th, 2020 at 7 a.m. Eastern time or 4 a.m. Pacific time, depending upon which part of the country or really even the world that it is that you are in. Now, what I think this new moon and Virgo is really all about is about us trying to figure out how we can fix some things in our life that have not been going according to plan or that have not been working out the way that we might like. It's about us trying to figure out how to fix those things and how to do those things differently so that we can get whatever's been stuck lately unstuck and um, move forward changing our lives, hopefully for the better and making better situations for ourselves manifest. So that's what I'm going to talk about here in this video. Before I get started, though, I did just want to let you know that I do do more videos than just this one on YouTube. Um, I do videos um, every time the moon changes signs. I also do weekly astrology horoscopes for the collective. Uh, not only that, I do monthly astrology horoscopes for the collective and sun sign monthly horoscopes too. If you want to check out those videos or get more from me, please take a look at my website, wondergirlastrology.com, where you can see those videos and get more from me. Just wanted to let you know. I also want to let you know as well that if you're looking for more, more for more free videos, you can also find daily horoscopes from me on horoscope.com as well. And I'll put the link to that down below in the description box so that you can get to those too. Now, what I want to do is hop right in um, to this new moon and to what's going on at this time. All right, in order for me to get started, what I like to do first is place the new moon on the chart so you can see where it is and follow along with me. All right, the new moon on the chart is going to be right here. 25 degrees Virgo. How do I know that this is a new moon? I know that it's a new moon because we've got the moon and the sun here at the exact same degree and the exact same sign. And that's what makes a new moon a new moon. All right, what are new moons all about? New moons, in my opinion, are all about new beginnings and fresh starts. Fresh starts in some area of our lives um, or in some kind of, that brings our attention to some kind of new or different focus. All right, what is this new beginning or fresh start about? Well, the new moon is in Virgo, so it's gonna be related to those matters. What is Virgo about? Well, the first thing that I always think of when I think of Virgo um, is communication, communication. Virgo is a sign about thinking and talking. Why is Virgo a sign about that? Because it is a Mercury ruled sign and Mercury is the planet of communication. So we're getting a new beginning and a fresh start in the way that we think about our lives and in the way that we communicate about it and talk to other people about it. However, it's important to know that Virgo is not Communication like Gemini, which is also a Mercury ruled sign, Virgo is an earth sign. So this is more practical and strategic conversations and thoughts. So this isn't just a new fresh start to think in any old way and to talk in any old way. This is a new beginning and a fresh start to think more strategically, more organized, to plan more <laughs> for our lives and, and to work some things out and to figure some things out so that we can move on. What else does Virgo have to do with? Well, Virgo, being an earth sign, also has to do with your daily routines and the things that you do on the day-to-day. -day. Typically, the small things that you do on the day-to-day -to, -day to put these strategic things that you're thinking through into practice more effectively and more efficiently. Okay, so there's also that that's going on at this new moon in Virgo. Not only are we getting a new way of thinking and talking about our lives that's more strategic, that's like more orderly, that's more effective to help us move forward but we're also doing small things on the day-to-day -day as a result of these new thoughts and strategies in order for us to move forward better. What else does Virgo have to do with? Well, Virgo is also the sign of health, you, typically the health of our body, but could also be the health of our physical environment. So because Virgo is the sign of our health, it could bring some of your attention to health for some of you, um, but and in order to interpret that more broadly, it also brings our attention to fixing things that aren't healthy in our lives so that we can overcome difficult stuff and move forward, creating healthier, better situations moving on. 
All right, so if I wanted to combine all of that stuff that I just said, what do you think is going on at this new moon in Virgo is that we're getting a new way of thinking that's more strategic, that's more organized, that's more effective, that's helping us to do small things on the day to day that we need to fix old stuff that is not working and create better and healthier situations from here on out, okay? So that's what I think this new moon in Virgo is about in the simplest and the most broad of, of terms um, in order to catch the most of you. Other things that can come up at this new moon in Virgo, Virgo is the sign of your job, like what you do for work. So um, for some of you, you could be getting themes of your job and your work and what's going on. And of course, Virgo also has to do with the health of your body, like I just said. So could be some of that too. But in order to interpret this the most generally, I like the interpretations about us getting a different way of thinking more strategic to help us organize our lives better, fix some things that are working and move on, all right? Now, why is this happening? Why is this necessary? Why is this important? In order to give more information about this new moon and what this new moon means now, I like to go back to talk about what happened in the past in order to give you the context of how we got to this point. For those of you who've been watching me for a while, you know that means that I'm now going to go back to our good friends Saturn, Pluto, and Jupiter, which have been hanging out close to a conjunction for quite some time and which is a very rare alignment. Okay, so I'm going to go back there. What is that about? Well, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, Capricorn has really been about especially since April of 2019, us changing our lives in a big way, the structure, the direction of our lives in a huge way. Why were we changing since April of 2019, the direction and the structure of our lives? Because what our life was prior to 2019, we either did not like, it was just bad, or we have simply just grown out of it and want other things. All right, and we've been trying to change our lives since April 2019 to get over this old bad stuff or stuff that we had grown out of and move on. Was it easy to do? No, it wasn't easy to deal with this stuff that we've been dealing with for the past however many years that we didn't like or had grown out of. And it, it hasn't been easy to make the transition out of this old stuff as well. It hasn't been easy um, for us to do that, but I like to believe that in some way we have done it. That in some way, especially at the end of June and into July, the new moon solar eclipse in Cancer, which is right about here, we did do it. That around that time, June, July, this most past, most recent June and July, we were able to find a way to change our lives, finally, to overcome these old chapters that were bringing us down and to move on, to move on doing something else cancer that we feel is more meaningful to us that we feel is more comfortable to us and after leo season since then that is going to make us feel better but even though but even though that is true and even though i do believe that is true even though i do believe that in june and july we were finally able to come out of these hard times and these hard changes and move forward there are still some things that have not been right. There are still some things that have not felt together. There are still some things that have not felt like they're where they need to be in order for us to move on in this different space that is now here. There are still some things that we still feel are keeping us stuck in old things that we don't like that aren't meant for us. And that's enter, enter the new moon in Virgo. That's where the new moon in Virgo comes in and um, saying, what is the deal? The new moon in Virgo comes in saying, what is the deal? You've made a lot of changes to overcome old stuff. You're, we, we are now in a new chapter of life. We've been here for a few months. The new moon in Virgo says, what is stopping you? What is stopping you from continuing onwards in this different place in life, feeling the way that you need to feel, feeling better, and making different situations manifest? And because the new moon in Virgo wants to know what the deal is, what's stopping us from more fully creating these better situations in life, we are, new moon in Virgo, doing a lot of thinking. What's going on? strategically parsing through things. Why isn't that working? What about that? What about this? Why didn't this happen? Okay. So in order for us to fix what is not working for us to move forward in some different chapter in life that's supposed to be better for us at this new moon in Virgo, we're parsing through the facts, parsing through information to get down to the nitty gritty to figure out what's going wrong. And not only are we 
parsing out what is going wrong to prevent us from moving forward. We're also doing some small things on the day to day, doing some small things on the day to day to fix the roadblocks, to fix the bottlenecks that are keeping us stuck. And these old chapters that are really gone, these old chapters that are really not here anymore and that we're moving on from. Okay. And I think, I think that's what it's all about so that we can move forward creating healthier situations. So I think that's what I'll, I'll say for now before I add other pieces of the puzzle on top of that. Just to repeat, what I think is going on at this new moon in Virgo is that we have finally overcome a lot of old, hard, uncomfortable chapters in our life and the hard changes that it took for us to get out of those things. We have finally overcome that and stepped into a new, different, better chapter of life that's more meaningful for us from here on out. But even though we have done that, and even though that is true, we still do not feel like it. We still do not feel like it. We're in a different chapter of life. We still do not feel like things are better. So this new moon in Virgo is about us getting down to the nitty gritty to think things through so that we can figure out why it doesn't feel still like we're in a better chapter of life and to do small things in order to rework the old stuff that's not helping us and create better things from here on out that will help us and that will move us forward, okay? Creating healthier situations from here on out. All right, and that's what I wanna say about that. Anything else that I wanna mention? <laughs> you know, I feel like I should mention COVID just because I know that's a thing that a lot of people are dealing with and just to put it in context. So I'll just mention that as a little side note for a minute. To me, COVID is a part of the Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter stuff that it is that um, that I mentioned before. Um, because COVID is a part of the Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter stuff, I, I personally have a, a, a more optimistic interpretation of COVID. I think COVID was a necessary thing, even though I know it caused a lot of hard problems. I think COVID was a necessary necessary thing that came up during this year in order to shake a lot of people loose from some old habits, old patterns, old things in life that are no longer meant for us or for them and to move us on. And I think that this new moon in Virgo, just to put it in the specific context of COVID, I think the new moon in Virgo is going to help a lot of people get on board with the, with the changes that COVID has brought. Get on board with that. And instead of trying to go back to life before COVID, I think the new moon in Virgo is going to help a lot of people rearrange things being a mutable sign in their lives to go with the change that COVID has brought and to work within it in a more organized, effective, and efficient way and to figure out how they can do that moving forwards. Okay. So I think that's what I'll say there. COVID is not the problem. It's a necessary thing helping us to move forward. I, you know, I have a lot of weird opinions probably about the virus. You know, I think the virus was probably caused by collective, by collective hesitancy to change, by a collective hesitancy to move forward. And when we don't change, when we don't move forward, disease comes individually, disease comes as a collective. So I think that's a part of it, okay? And I think COVID is really trying to say, now is the time to change. And with this Newman and Virgo, now is the time to, to make the change and to figure things out so that we can move on. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the specific alignments that um, this new moon itself is making. Here's the new moon in Virgo. I think the alignment that I want to mention first is going to be right here in an opposition with Neptune and Pisces. What is this about? Well, opposition is a hard aspect. Neptune, by a hard aspect, isn't always pleasant. So what is this? When Neptune goes wrong, it brings sadness, it brings confusion, and it brings exhaustion. So what does that mean? It means to me that a lot of us are trying to fix things in our life. A lot of us are trying to figure out like why we aren't feeling good in this different place in life, in this different chapter, and why we don't feel like this different chapter is really here. And because we don't, because we're still kind of stuck and because we're still not feeling good, A, we're freaking tired. We're tired of trying to do things and them not work and them failing. Not only are we tired of doing things and them not working and failing and we're just here exhausted, but we're also sad because like 
it's sensitive, it's emotional to try things and to fail and to not have them fixed and to not feel like we're where we want to be. So we're sad about that. And not only that, but we're confused because like, what gives? What gives? We're trying things. It's not working. We're tired. We're sad. All this old stuff we're still feeling that can be very, very hard. So that's what I want to want to mention first. Sure, this new moon in Virgo is about us figuring out what's broken in our lives or what's not working and to think through it and to fix it so that we can feel better and step more into some new place in our lives. But even though we're trying to figure out what's broken, we're confused. We're confused about what's broken. We don't know. We don't know what's broken. We don't understand. (laughs) We're sad about a lot of these things and we're just exhausted, exhausted, okay, as we're trying to move forward, okay? What does this mean? What does this indicate? Well, typically with oppositions, I will say choices. Choices need to be made. Oppositions are a function of choice or compromises. So sure, we're feeling tired, sad, and confused about what we can do and how we can fix things. But that doesn't mean to wallow in the tiredness, to wallow in the sadness, to wallow in the confusedness and not make a decision and just sit there and be upset. No, with an opposition, you are eventually going to have to make a choice in order to move forward. However, usually with Neptune being involved, this is a choice following your intuition. This is a choice following your intuition or, or, or picking something without entirely knowing the answer. All right, so... Just to bring that together, what's going on at this new moon, we're trying to figure out how to fix things to get them moving in our lives. We don't know how to fix things. We're confused. We're sad, emotional. We're going to have to choose anyway to come up with some kind of different strategy in order to move forward, bringing things together. And we're going to have to choose things on faith, Neptune, and choose things on intuition in order to move on. Right, we're gonna have to. Another little point that I can make as well is that Neptune is also the planet of going inwards for a minute and of taking some time out. So in order for us to make that choice or listen to our intuition, we may need to take a moment to come back to ourselves, to remove ourselves from the fray and from the intensity of things in order for us to move forward. But ideally by us taking a break to go inward, we're gonna find that renewed energy in order to make the choice on faith to keep figuring things out and fixing things and moving onwards. I like to believe that if we make a choice on faith about trying, really trying something different, trying some, especially with Mars retrograde, if we make a choice on faith to try something different, not the same thing we've been doing, okay, but to try something different that we've never done before to fix our problems, if we make the choice to try something drastically different, to figure out this old stuff, to work through it and to move forward, then I think we're going to be feeling better because not only is this new moon in an opposition to Neptune, but it's in a square over here to the nodal axis, which includes the the north node in Gemini, as well as the um, the south node over here in Sagittarius. And when I see squares to the nodes, there are two things that I think, well, there are choices, I think choices. So we've got two alignments here. We've got another one that I haven't talked about yet, choices are going to be important. (laughs) These aren't 100% sure choices. These aren't, I know this is going to work out 100%. It's a sure bet. This is, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but I got to try it anyways, because I got to try something and I might as well try this (laughs) because I never tried it before and we got to do it. All right. So I want to be clear here, multiple things saying choices, you got to make some. All right, the other thing squares to the nodes indicate to me, if not turning, uh, choices are turning points, things turning. Things can turn either naturally on their own or things can turn around as a result of our choices, okay? How are things going to turn around? Well, they turn around towards the North Node because the North Node is our destiny. The North Node is pointing the way forward to our future in some way. So once we make these choices, about what we can do differently than we've done before to fix some things in our life that aren't working to get us in some new place, we're going to experience a turning point to to what? North node in Gemini to feel lighter. Gemini, Gemini to me is a lighter sign. It's an air sign. It's a playful sign. We're going to experience a turning point to feel lighter, to feel better in some way, to feel more playful, to feel Gemini, more flexible in some way. Not only are we going to feel lighter, 
flexible, but Gemini also has to do with expression, self-expression. We're going to feel like it's a little bit easier to express ourselves because we're committing to tr- figuring something out. We're committing to trying something else, to figure some things out that we think are going to help in order for us to move on. All right. We're going to feel more free to try something else and to feel better about it. And also Gemini too is about gathering new information, you know, like Gemini is about forming different beliefs or gathering more information to move forward instead of getting stuck in old beliefs and information, like maybe the South Node in Sagittarius is about. So not only once we make the choices to try something different to fix our lives, not only are we going to feel better, lighter, and easier, and more free perhaps to be flexible and to express ourselves, but we're also going to feel like more free to 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 come up with new ideas, new belief systems, and to gather more information to help us do other things uh, and understand other things in our life that we might need in order to move forward, putting our life in a different and better place, okay? Which I do think is meant to be a positive thing. All right. At the same time that that's going on, we've also got this new moon in Virgo making a trine over here to Saturn in Capricorn. What is that about? Well, that's about us, I think, in some way feeling a little bit more solid about things with a little bit more of a clear direction about where things are going, especially as Saturn is stationing to go direct in the next week or two. All right. Is this us feeling more clear about everything? No. Remember, we were just confused a minute ago. I was saying we were just confused a minute ago. So this isn't us clear about everything. This is just about us saying I'm committing to figuring things out. I'm committing to doing things differently in order to overcome what's stopping me. Even if I don't know if the commitment I'm making is 100% going to work. And because I'm committing to to trying some new way to see if it's going to help me, I'm feeling lighter, easier, more flexible, and like I have more of a chance at understanding more things and figuring more stuff out in the future that's going to help me. And not only am I feeling better because I'm committing to something, but I'm feeling like committing to something is going to help me become more solid and more clear, not now, but down the line, especially as I commit long term over time to experimenting with this new way and moving on. We're feeling like this new thing we're committing to is eventually going to help us bring more order and 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 back to our lives and help us manage things a bit better okay and i and i like it okay because we're coming up with a different plan and a different strategy and committing to that long term over time Not only are we starting to feel a little bit better, but I think as well with Venus and Leo making a square to Uranus and Taurus, we're starting to come up with some solutions that we need to move forward, overcoming old things. And we're starting to break free from maybe old stuff that was hard for us and old stuff that made us insecure, that made us unstable, or that was even hard for us financially, okay, with the Taurus influence, all right? And because we're committing to a new way, even though we don't know what is going to work, and we're trying the thing to fix the old stuff. I just see a lot of good things coming of it. Feeling better, feeling like eventually we're going to get more of that management and clarity back in our lives and feeling like we're breaking free from old hard stuff with, real, with money, with our own self that's helping us to move on. Not only that... But we're also, too, starting to feel more open to receive, more open to receive some good stuff to come down the line. Why are we feeling more open to receive? Well, because Mars is retrograde, which is the active planet. Venus, which is the masculine planet. Venus, which is feminine, is receptive, making this alignment. And because the new moon in Virgo, Virgo is a feminine sign, being an earth sign. So... Not only is this different strategy and this different plan helping us to feel better, feel good about eventually what can it come down the line as we commit towards trying things differently, but it's also helping us to break free from old stuff and to feel like once we clear out this blockage, we can receive. We can receive better things or that better things are going to start to come to us without us forcing them as much after this point. All right. Not only are we feeling like 
because I'm committing to a strategy, even if I'm not 100%, that good things are going to start to come. I'm going to break free from old stuff, going to feel better, going to receive more down the line once everything works out. But we're also with Mercury and Libra making a square to Jupiter and Capricorn getting to, I want to say, more of a vision, more of a vision of what things could eventually look like once we fix stuff. We're getting more of a vision of... Um, of a different life in which we could feel more balanced in which we could feel better about what's going on because Libra is the sign of balance. We're also getting a vision as well about how relationships can factor into our lives once we fix this other stuff that needs fixing and move forward. And, um, and we're also putting meanings together, meanings Jupiter in new ways in order for us to move on with that Libra influence. Hey, are we seeing all those things now? Are we feeling more balanced in our life emotionally now? Are we feeling better working 100% with relationships now? No, no, nor not feeling balanced. We're not feeling 100% with relationships. We're not feeling 100% like we're understanding everything. We're not, especially because the new moon in Libra has not happened yet around where Mercury is going to be. Okay, so we're not feeling better yet, but we are just getting a vision, getting an idea of how things might go down the line. And not only are we getting an idea of how things might go down the line, but we are also as well um, um, working things over in our mind to put possibilities together about what things might eventually be like if we follow this plan of action that's different, overcome these old things and move onwards. That I do think is gonna help with Jupiter now direct to to um, bring eventually more structure back to our lives as we move on, okay? And I think that's the last thing that I'll mention um, uh, it, right now, and because I think that's most of the stuff that's going on at this new moon. So just to repeat, what I think is going on at this new moon and Virgo is that we're trying to come up with a new plan or a different plan and a different strategy moving forward so that we can overcome these roadblocks and these things that are in our way, stopping us from more fully stepping into a new chapter and a new existence in life that is better for us. We're not quite sure what this new plan and strategy is. We don't know about it. We're exhausted. We're sad. We're tired of trying to come up with these new plans, but we have to choose anyways. Choose on faith. Choose to the best of our abilities. I believe that we take some time to come back to ourselves and to listen to our intuition and that we do choose, that we do choose some kind of plan to do things in a new, not the same, in a new and different way moving forward that'll be better for us because we make a choice to do things differently, even if we aren't 100%, we then, and to commit and to commit to doing that long term, we then start to feel better easier, lighter, like it's easier for us to be adaptable, flexible, to express ourselves and to form new understandings about our life that's going to help us move on, okay? Because we're committing to a plan forward, not only are we feeling better about it, but we're also feeling um, like we're breaking free from old stuff that hasn't been working for us, from old insecurities, from old fears, and from old challenging money situations. We feel like we're breaking free from some of that stuff so that we can set ourselves up in the future to receive, to receive more happiness, to receive more joy, to receive more good things, more good things such as balance emotionally and balance in our lives and more good things such as better relationships with other people, factoring them into our plans. We don't have those things now, but we're setting ourselves up to receive those things later as time works itself out. And because we are setting ourselves up to receive those things, we're doing a lot of thinking and talking uh, and our minds through these possibilities so that we can figure out how things may align in the future. Okay, so that's what's going on there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna read the inside degree for um, this new moon uh, around 25 degrees Virgo, just to give you more context of how this might play out. I'm gonna read it on my phone. It was written by someone else. And I'm actually gonna read 26 degrees Virgo because I like that one better. It says this, getting your bearings, determining your limits, finding a reality fix. 
making sure that everything is there, checking out the manifest details over and over again. So I like this so far. What we're doing at this new moon in Virgo is checking out the details of our life over and over again to see what we've been missing, to see what hasn't been working in life and to fix it and to overcome our previous limits so that we can move on. All right, the next line says, um, coming down to earth, Virgo, our sign, and becoming sober and straight and clear. Not only are we going over and over and over again the details of our lives to figure out what hasn't been working and overcome our limits and to fix some stuff and move forward, but we're also doing it in practical ways with more of a clear mindset of, of what's been going on, what's been stopping us, and what's been moving us forward, Okay. I don't know if like a clear mindset is the word, especially with that opposition to Neptune, but we're, it's not, clear isn't the word. We're fixing these problems with the, it's the sober, with a more so, I don't know, it's Neptune. I don't think sober is the word either. We're coming back to fix these problems with, oh, what's the word? I don't want to say pessimism, but with a good dose of like, disillusionment. <laughs> I think we're coming back to fix some of these old problems now that we've been disillusioned from some other things and have to work with what we got. Okay. It says, you are overwhelmingly convinced that there must come this cleaning up and clearing up. Sick and tired of pretense and hype, hungry to get down to the basics and somewhat hooked on the quantitative intelligence. intent upon being viable, correct, and self-sufficient. So more things about this inside degree. It does. I think we are. We're just disillusioned with everything that hasn't has not happened. So we're trying to now get down to brass tacks to deal with the reality with whatever that is for better or for worse to fix what hasn't been working to overcome our limits and to move on with more of a sense of reality. And we're trying to clean things up, clear things up, and work the details out over and over and over again without the pretense, without the hype, and all this other BS. <laughs> it says you learn how to throw off the attitude and to cleave to the substance of getting things right unapologetically and steadfastly. And I think we are. I think we're just like tired of it, tired of the BS. Tired of trying things that not working, tired of maybe things happening, maybe things not. And so I think this new moon in Virgo is just about us saying, you know what? I'm tired of this. <laughs> I may be sad, I may be tired, I may be confused, but I got to do what I got to do. I got to do what I got to do, even if I got to do something I don't want to do that's different in order to fix it. In order to fix it, get back on board, especially maybe after COVID, screwed some of our plans up and to move on, and us getting down to brass tacks to clean things up, to fix things, then helps us feel better and get us thinking more about other possibilities to come. Now your card, choose it kind of fast, um, now your card is the Page of Pentacles upright. I like this card, especially for a new moon in Virgo, which is an earth sign, and pentacles to me do correlate more to the element of earth. So I like this. What are pages all about? Pages to me do um, in some ways, like, I don't know if I want to say herald something new, but do herald something different that is I think is going to be helpful in some way. So what are we getting that's going to be different and helpful in some way? Well, with this, I think we are getting like a different plan, a different strategy moving forward. Of course, that's going to be helpful. And I believe this different plan or strategy that is going to bring more stability back to our lives, Pentacle, is going to bring more confidence back to our lives. And for some of us, may bring money as well. Once we fix things this uh, month, we may be able to get a little bit more back on our feet with money as well. So... So I like this card. It's upright. I think this is a good one. This new moon and Virgo, we're going to be able to come up with some kind of strategy or plan that is going to help us feel more stable, more confident, and feel better financially. Is it going to happen all at once? Pentacles to me are a little bit of a slow suit. So it's going to be, it's going to take time. It's going to happen slowly. Do not rush. Do not go fast. It needs the time to fix these things especially if they have deep roots in the past, these things that aren't working, but we are going to get there to a better place. And the new moon in Virgo is trying to be helpful in order for us to move on. Okay. 
And maybe this is also the Page of Pentacles is saying, accept a different way of moving forward that can help you. All right, the card at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. So I do feel like, yeah, once you come up with a different kind of way forward, a different plan, a different strategy, not only is it going to help you feel more solid, more stable, more secure, bring more money to you, but it's also going to help you understand your emotions better and manage your emotions better as well so that um, so that you can move on without feeling so frustrated, so fearful or or afraid as maybe we have in the past few few weeks, months, and years. So that is your um, forecast for the new moon in Virgo. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope it was helpful for you. If you liked it, please like my video, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, check out my website, and I will talk to you on the next video.